Hello and welcome to a digital cookie help session for parents and caregivers. My name is Melissa Hall. I am the product program specialist for regions three and four. I am going to be going through the steps if you're having trouble logging in, setting up, and then approving cookie orders for parents and caregivers via our digital cookie app. The first thing you're going to want to do as a parent or caregiver is check your email box to see if you have an email from the digital cookie system. This should give you a link to follow to go and log into the digital cookie system and set up your help, help your girls to set up their accounts. If you did not receive this email and you have checked your spam and junk folder, what you will do next is come over to digitalcookie.girlscouts dot org slash log in. You will then click need help to log in. This is going to take you to a help with login page. The easiest and hopefully quickest way to solve this is to say request a digital cookie registration email. You will then put in your email address, click submit, and you should have that within 15 minutes. If you do not receive it within 15 minutes, that's when you could reach out to your product program specialist for help. Now, if you come over and you put in your email address and you click submit, it may tell you that the email address is not recognized. From here, you can check the email address that is on file for you. So you will go down to Girl Scouts of Colorado, which is under G and click search. This time, you will put in your Scout, your Girl Scouts troop information and details and click search. It will then jog your memory to show you what your initial login password or what your email address was. So it'll be start out, but it should give you enough information um, to get you started. And hopefully that will make you say, oh yeah, okay, it's, it's my Outlook, not my Gmail. Um, however, sometimes um, that will not work. So what you'll want to do then, if you don't have access to that email address anymore, is you can um, go ahead and change out your email address. Oh, okay. I do not have that option because I am also registered as a volunteer to my child's troop. However, if you were registered as a parent and not a um, and not a volunteer, there would then be a button that said, change the email address that's on file for you. You can then update it using your child's date of birth and you put in the new email address and it goes into a queue to be updated within the next business day or so. If all of these steps do not help you, that's when you would then reach out to your product program specialist for your region for assistance in getting your, your password, getting your email address updated. Okay, if you are ready to log in and set up your site, you will come back to the login screen and it'll take you to your dashboard. A very cool thing is that you can toggle between all of your um, Scout, Girl Scouts right up here at the top under select a Girl Scout. On their dashboard, you have lots of really great information. I'm going to first take you to site setup. I'm going to show you an example of a child under 13 and one over 13 so you can see how that will work. So um, for Abigail, We've already published it, but if I were to click edit, it'll take you back to what it looked like before it was published. You do generally have to publish these sites on a computer or, um, or laptop or using your mobile browser in your phone before you can then see and utilize them in the app. So um, Abby and I sat down, we went through her goals and I helped her fill all of this out. So she said she wanted to sell a thousand packages that approximates how much it's going to help her troop. Um, she would then come down here and there's an editable place to tell your customers what you and your troop plan to do with the money you earn from selling cookies and what you tell your customers what you have learned from selling cookies. Um, scrolling further down, 
then you can upload your own video. She chose to use one here with her dog that she um, adopted from the organization that the, her troop is going to give uh, cookies to. Um, or you can choose a photo from the photo gallery. You can also upload your own video or use the standard Girl Scout video. Um, we have found that girls that upload their own, make, make and upload their own video tend to have a lot more participation on the site from their customers. So we do recommend if they are able, it's also a really cool learning process. It can be tied into several of the uh, patches earned during the cookie program. You will then come down here and you can see your site and then approve and publish. So you'll have a chance to kind of look and see what it would look like for a customer. So looking at it here, the customer is able to donate or they can choose the varieties of cookies. Um, a note here, if they choose to donate cookies, this will go to the gift of Karen, which means they will ship out from the bakery overseas to the troops, VA hospitals, et cetera. However, if the customer wants to donate to the girl's hometown hero, which is cookies that come out of the girl's inventory to go to a local organization, they would choose the varieties of cookies here and select girl delivered and then reach out to the girl to let her know that these are a donation. So um, again, if you would use the donate cookie button for gift of caring and you would use the varieties if you want it to go to hometown hero. The gift box option is only available for customers who want their cookies shipped to them. So important just to note the gift box is not available for girl delivered. Um, it will then show the customer that they can either ship the cookies or have the Girl Scout deliver the cookies. If they choose Girl Delivery on the next page, it will give them the option to say, if this Girl Scout does not have these varieties, would you like her to cancel your order or donate the order? Um, so the customer has that default option to select. If they choose cancel, then it will, if the parent, when the parent declines the order, it will simply never charge their card. Okay, so back up here, we're going to go ahead and approve and publish, and then um, Abby's site is ready to go. Right here, you can see her progress. You can see her cookie site URL. This is the link right here that you can share on social media. In what on social media that is your own page, so with friends and family viewing, um, you can also make a QR code out of this for going door to door. Um, that will be your link throughout the program. So coming further down, it's going to show you how many orders you have, how many packages are sold, the breakout if they're shipped, donated in person or in hand, what varieties they are, and how many marketing emails um, the girl has sent. So this is a great way to learn online marketing. You can come in here, um, go to the customers tab, and then set up her all of her email list and choose which marketing emails to send to her customers. Okay, I would also like to show you what it looks like to set up a site for a girl over the age of 13 um, and then show you how to approve a girl delivered order. Okay, so Zoe is over 13. So when you initially register the girl and you click register, you're going to put in her email address. It's going to then send an email to her to come in, set up her page, and then it kicks it back over to you for approval. So you wanna make sure you're not necessarily using a school email if that's what they have, because they, um, a lot of times it'll spam filter out if they're using like a Gmail through their school. So um, you can also set up a free email account using Gmail or Outlook that's only for digital cookies. So you could say something like, you know, uh, digital cookies are here, Zoe at gmail.com or something like that, that you manage if you're not comfortable having them manage their own um, email address at this point. Um, so I would have sent this over to Zoe. She would have set it all up here. She's writing her cookie story. <clears throat> she used the digital cookie icon. Um, she's talking here about her gold award, talking about what she's learned from cookies. And then she um, was able to see her site and submit for approval. Um, so then as the parent or guardian, I would go in, I would approve or publish, and she would be set to go. Now, 
on her dashboard, it says here, and I would have also gotten an email that I have one order to approve for delivery. So I will get a, re um, a reminder twice a day that I need to approve this order. So what I can do is click on this order and here's the one that I have to approve. So what I would do is check with my cookie manager, make sure that they have the variety of cookies that I need. Oh, it's one package of Samoa. Okay, I know that I actually have this in my personal inventory. I don't even need to check with the true cookie manager if I had cookies already. So then I would look at the customer's name, address, phone number, and I would say, okay, I know this person. I am good with approving this order for girl delivery and click approve. It then goes down into the order queue and these are all of the cookie orders um, that Zoe needs to um, deliver on the first day of the cookie program. So what she, what, in, because she's over 13, she will work in tandem um, with the parent and caregiver will send emails and communications to the customers that just say, hey, thanks so much for ordering. Um, cookies come in on the 30th. My first day to deliver is the 31st. Can I porch pixie drop these to your porch on that day? Customer might say yes, or they may say, oh gosh, I'm out of town and I'm back that Wednesday. Can we do something different? Alternately, um, the girl could say, hey, I'm going to have a cookie party on the 31st at the park in my neighborhood. So all of you, um, are you, would anybody like to come pick up their order for my cookie booth at my neighborhood park? Um, some may choose to, or a girl may choose to go ahead and do those porch pixie deliveries to the customer. So you've got a couple of different options here which are really, really great. Um, okay, so we've gone through approving an order. Um, oh, showed you your order. So you will see a broken out of orders to deliver. Your shift orders would be up here. So you can kind of keep track of all of that or here are your shift orders. So shift orders, you do not have to have these cookies. They go automatically to the customer from the bakery and they will add the cookies and the payment into your girl's eBuddy account. So it will add on to the cookies that she has taken uh, to sell girl delivered or door to door. Okay. Um, just a quick show on how to manage that customer tab. Um, so, you know, you have your customer list. You can click here, add to customer list. If someone did a mobile order, and then you can you can edit your customer's information, delete your customer, add another customer, look at their order history. Um, so lots of great information for you and one, one spot where all of your customer's information is stored when it comes time to deliver your cookies. Okay, and that is a pretty good overview um, for Digital Cookie for Parents and Caregivers. Um, there is, there are, there is several places to find help on the website. So you do have a site setup video, a site setup quick tip sheet, and you can go down to help at the bottom. And this is also going to have a lot of information um, for you as well. There are quick tip videos that you can look at here. So um, showing you how to get to the website, how to get to the mobile app, how to register, how to reset your password, how to get started when you order, when you have in-person delivery and site setup. Um, we also have some resources available on the Girl Scouts of Colorado website. So if you go to girlscoutsofcolorado.org, you click on cookies and then click on resources. There is a section here for uh, digital cookie tip sheets right at the top. So you can click there and under parents, caregivers, and girls, there are step-by-step -step tip sheets for all of these things listed there and also information for the cookie entrepreneur pins and badges that they can work on through the website and then let their TCM know that they have earned. So thank you for listening to our parent caregiver video and we hope you have a fantastic 2021 cookie program and we've got this.